impact is that much for a community. So when you enter into any undertaking with RRP on behalf of the mission, it's not under, an undertaking for your own benefit. It's an undertaking that's meant to positively impact the community because it's, it's not every day that you gather people like this, especially during the COVID pandemic. And then the open book CTE is committed to the Quick Impact Projects provide a vehicle through which um, uh, the mission delivers on uh, its mandate. And um, we've observed that uh, there is a, a plethora of uh, IPs uh, implementing particular activities uh, out there. However, there is a need to improve the quality of work they do and the manner in which they uh, implement uh, Quick Impact Projects. So this workshop comes in handy and timely to equip our implementing partners with the basic skills to um, deliver on um, quick impact projects from the formulation to the implementation and monitoring and evaluation. My fellow participants, there's a little bit of change in our program. If you have a question, you raise your hand. And if you have some observation, then we we'll go for the rules. What are the rules that we want to have for this one? We are going to improve on uh, uh, competitive, producing competitive proposals that uh, can make the project succeed. Because once you don't do it from the beginning, at the level of proposal, there's no way that you can let the project succeed if you don't uh, put some elements uh, of the project in a proper way, which I believe we are going to get better in terms of proposal writing and we are also going to get better uh, on the side of implementation of uh, in approved uh, proposals. Widows, they need money so that they can start business like microfinance but they still could not manage to get it. We are still trying how to support them. If that money is out, we have to divide the money according to the numbers of the widows who are willing to do the business, but they will bring back the money with the profit. That is what we are trying to do for the widows. And this mandate has different components. One is physical, we will say all of them, they are 28 in general or more, and this. I like implementing uh, quick, quick impact projects because they are very important. The, uh, uh, most of the projects that we have implemented have helped the community, the, the host communities. Uh, like last year we were doing, uh, we constructed a police station at Terakeka, and which is helping now because it is hosting the, the office of the commissioner, uh, which contribute to the security of the local communities.